Hey, what's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D and today we are going to look how we do the budget in Project CRM, Customer Relation Management System. We have a budget which is composed of one part which is investment. That investment part are those 23,000 that you see here. Beside that, internal people will be involved in the company to work on the project. For that, there is also a budget of working hours involved in the project. And these are those 1,500 hours which MS Project shows you as 1,499 hours. So if we go back to the 23,000 euros invested in the project, they are composed of a software budget, material for the moment, nothing is involved, and we have a budget for services of 8,000 euros. This is an external company which sends us a consultant for training. Beside that, we have ours, which are the involvement of internal co-workers. And we can have here a view over departments, meaning that, for example, if we take the first line here, the budget of the finance department, we see that people there will be involved for 151 hours into the project. For the marketing department, we see that people will be involved 364 hours and so on for the other departments. We are going to see how we get those results for the budget. I will do this in two parts. The first part will deal how we get really the, the budget values of um, the project with MS Project. And the second part is how I manage to detail here per department the working hours. To help you do this part of the CRM project with me, you can download from our website the file that is behind me. This file is the start of this part. You can download it from vision6d.com slash download. From the same place, you can also download explanations that will help you understand what we are doing for the budget. In the document, you will find a list of references. One that is important is that you have gone through the base of the budget. It's the number 10 in the MS Project series. Project CRM is the implementation of a customer relation management system into a company. You are the project manager of this project and this system is enabling to follow customers' needs from the moment that they are a prospect, that they have interest in a product or a service in your company, through marketing, then sales, if something was purchased by the customer, and then you have the customer support. There are several videos available for you to live the life of a project manager and follow the evolution of the project CRM. In MS Project, to work with the budget, we need the summary task. For this, we will need to go into the project format and then you see here we have the possibility to select the summary task. So I click on it. And as soon as I've done that, we see that we have a summary tasks that come here. So in the case of our file, we have a doubling because we have CRM session here, which is a task, and CRM down, which is also a task that was meant to summarize. So I will remove the task called CRM. In order to do that, I select all the other tasks and I bring them up one level. Like that, the task CRM, I can simply remove it. Like that, I have here the summary task as I want it and as it is required by MS Project. 
and I will remove all that that it stays called CRM. I see that the currency is Swiss francs, so I can change this to adapt to a currency that I appreciate more here. And for that, I go into display here and here down, I found the currency and I will switch it to Euro. On the Gantt chart, nothing changed. We still have a budget to zero and a budget of working hours still to zero. For this, we will need to give values to those resources. For this, I go here to select another view which is the resource usage. And here the resource usage you see for each resource, for example, I can take here project manager one, PM one, all the tasks that person will perform into the project. And we already see here the number of hours that are prepared for or planned, we see the number of hours that are planned for each task. So we will go now down here and we find our new resources of type budget. And you see the budget software resource is here and the only task it is assigned to is the CRM task as well is the case for the budget material and the budget service. If you try here to enter anything, it won't be possible because we have here the work column. So we are going here on this view also to add our budget columns. So for that, I go into insert here and I will go down to budget and I will first insert budget cost. I will also add the column here, budget work. And you see here the transformation. Since our budget resources are of type cost, we have here the column of the cost that appeared. Once I have created those resources, now I can key in values. So we'll start with the software. And we were saying that uh, the license is 50 euros per month and the budget into the project should be for one year of operation. So all in all, it will make a 15,000 euros. So I can key in that value here on the CRM line. For the material, we don't have anything at the moment, so I will leave it with zero. For the services, it will be the training. Each day of training will cost 2,000 and we will have four days, so in all it's 8,000. I will try to put it directly on the budget line here, you see, an MS project doesn't allow me. It's really on the line of the task that you have to enter a value. So now we've entered the costs here. So we can go back to the Gantt chart and look what happened there. And we see that on the CRM line, now we have our first change in the sense that we have a budget cost, which is 23,000, which are really those 15 plus 8,000 but you see that working hours we still don't have anything so at this point i can say so that for a lot of project this is really the way they present the budget they only count the the costs internal in some companies they don't count the internal resources it's arrangement between departments which are involved into the project there are other companies where they really count the number of hours that the co-worker will be involved into the project. To emphasize this point, we'll go here into the report and the dashboard. 
and we will go into the cost overview of the project calculated by MS Project. We are not talking at all of a project of 23,000 euros, but a project of 152,000 euros. So how come and where does the difference come? Uh, the difference comes from the, the fact that if we go into the resource sheet, we, we see that here we have the information of cost per hour. As soon as you key in that value, MS Project is calculating the costs. And this is what enables MS Project to show you into the cost overview, the cost of the project. So it means that if we do those 152 minus 23, which makes 129,000, this is the cost of the internal resources that will work on the project. So this sets the, the question, shall we say that the project is a 23,000 or shall we say that it's 152,000 euros project? I have seen different ways to, to solve this. Some are really bringing the money amount, the 152, and some other companies, they prefer to have that separation between the real costs, which are investment, and they want to see the working hours. So we are going to bring the, the working hours. And for that, of course, that uh, we need to, to bring in some new resource. So I'll go back to the resource sheet and here I create a budget which I will call work. And this budget work will be indeed of type work. And here I will again define this resource as a budget resource. So the next step is to go back to the GAN chart, take the summary task and add that new resource. We can say OK at this point. And here, nothing changed. We still have our budget of zero hours because, of course, we need now to give information about the usage of that resource, which is budget work. And once again, since it's a um, budget resource, the only task it has is CRM. And you see that instead of showing up a possibility in the column of cost, it shows in the column of work and a quantity of hour. If you remember, in the beginning, we had said that this project is a 1,500 hours project. So I will simply here key in 1,500 hours. This is keyed in and I can go back to the GAN chart here. And you see here that we have now the definition that follows that we have a cost budget of 23,000 euros and we have as well budget work of 1,500 hours. So I will go back into reports to, to show you, first of all, that nothing changed on the cost overview. You see nothing has changed. So it means that uh, those resources of type budget don't have any influence on those reports. And there is a second report because you might ask yourself, where did that information of the 1500 hours of work come from? And you see here that I'm taking the work overview among the dashboards in the report. And I had here a calculated uh, value of 1498, which I simply say it's 1500 into this project. And this is to tell you that in the end, the project values, they will be used by MS Project for further comparisons into the evolution of the project. In the resource usage, it's where we can see the detail of the budget. 
So we have here with our budget resources, first the software, which is 15,000, the material, which is known, the budget for services, which is mainly training, 8,000, and we have a budget of work, which is 1,500 hours. On this project, uh, we will see in a further video how we can detail a bit more those 1,500 hours that we have the detail per department. This will request that we group and create new resources. So this will be in an additional video. So with this, you've seen the possibilities to budget with MS project. You liked it, share it with your friend. You can sum up and of course subscribe to the channel. I'll be happy to meet you for the next part or for any other video. Till then, bye bye. Have a good time. See you.